got God. I've got God. I've got God. We should be happier. We're gonna play something. Read something. You should be happier. Hi, Josiada here. This video is about the latest OS build 22621.1344. Microsoft Windows update. If you have not updated your computer yet, or if you've already updated to this build, there are nine changes I want to bring to your attention. But before that, I want to thank you for your positivity, thank you for your views, thank you for your feedback, thank you particularly for your trust and your time. To learn from a stranger takes trust. I appreciate the trust you show in seeing the videos I make here. The first change I want to bring your attention to is the energy recommendations. When we go to start, click settings, by default, the option will be on system will be selected so we just click power and battery then you can see the energy recommendations this will give you chance to participate in but in better climate that means as you turn on this options for energy recommendations your carbon footprint will reduce and you will use your computer more energy efficiently and that means it will produce less heat because as we use pc especially for a long time it produces a lot of heat and that's what gets stuck up in the atmosphere and which is not so good for the climate. So we click here I can just click apply all for the energy recommendations to be effective. So I just click apply all. See that. The next change I would like to highlight to you is after the update, you will see that only the search icon shows on the tax bar. Before this update, this KB502293 update, we have the search icon, the search bar, and the word search. But we this update gives us the option to choose which one we want. So we right click and click tax bar. First, you can choose to hide the search option. You see it's no longer here. Go back. You can choose to do search icon and label. We minimize. See, this is this was what we had before this latest update. So you pick whether you just want the icon to show it by itself or you want this to show. It's up to you. Let me know which one you prefer, please, in the comment. The next change I will bring your attention to is the quick assist. Just search, you can just search quick assist. Once you click apps, 
you are not going to find it after this update. You have to first install it from the Microsoft Store. So if you updated your PC to this OS build 22621.1344 and you don't see the quick assist, it doesn't mean your PC did not successfully update. It's just that you have to install the quick assist from the Microsoft Store. So we click. The quick assist is in case you need remote help or you are offering remote help to fix somebody's Windows computer. You can use this quick assist to help them take partial or full control of their Windows computer. This is like the any view application, any Dex, I mean. When you download and install the AnyDex app, you can use it to offer remote assistance or ask for remote assistance on your computer. So this quick assist is for is from Microsoft for such PC issues. You see here it says help family and friends with their PC or get help from them using Quick Assist. So we click install. Have you used this Quick Assist? Have you also used any other remote assist app like AnyDex, TeamView? Let me know what you think. And we can see the rating here is not a good one. Let me know what you think, please, in the comment. So we click to open. So for the for us to get the code, somebody on the other end giving us a help or receiving help we also have to download and install quick assist then we can share the code and take full or partial control of the pc for us to fix any pc issues the next change i want to bring to your attention is the Windows Studio effect, which will help you to adjust the sharpness, the saturation, the contrast of your camera. Again, we click start, we click settings. We click Bluetooth and devices. Then we scroll to cameras. If you have a Wi-Fi or Bluetooth camera, you can search for it and connect it here. Then you can adjust the sharpness, the background and all that. But I'll use this integrated webcam, which is my camera. I'll click it. See, it gives the option to adjust the brightness the contrast, the sharpness, and saturation. That's what the Windows Studio effect is about. The next change is the is on the tax Windows Tax Manager. We can use Shift Control Escape to bring the Tax Manager. To open the tax manager or we can just right click on the tax bar and click tax manager
the first change or improvement is you can filter the process here using the name of the app or the publisher of an app or the PID, the process ID to filter any process in the tax manager. Then the other option is when you click settings in the tax manager, you can choose a team for the tax manager that will be different from the team of your PC is on light we can change it to dark and when we go to settings and click personalization and click colors we can see it says choose your mode. We can choose dark here. See, the whole PC is on dark mode, but you can change the mode of your tax manager to be light and it will not affect the mode of the PC. See that? Then we can just change it back to light and change this one to dark see it doesn't affect the mode or the theme of the computer see the computer is on light mode but the tax manager is on dark mode another change here is if you want to make any app efficient you can just right click and click efficiency mode it will ask you to confirm it, then you click OK. If you don't want this, you can click Settings and click Don't Ask before applying efficiency mode. So when we go back and we want to add efficiency mode, once we click efficiency mode, it will be applied straight away does that the next one is if your pc can convert to tablet this updates has provided option for better touch experience so you just right click click tax bar settings and scroll until you can see tax bar behaviors and you can see the option here is a optimized tax bar for touch interactions when this device is used as a tablet so we click once you slide your pc to use it as a tablet and you have checked this option you will get this it will show you this it says your device is optimized for touch see it this KB5022913 updates it made accessibility very efficient like for let's go back to settings
we click accessibility we scroll to narrator and we scroll to so this update has further enhanced braille devices if you have need to use braille as you use your pc this update has improved that and it has also improved voice assist when you use your voice to use your pc that's better with this update then this update also has made after you have updated your pc it makes further updates better another change to bring to your attention is when you press shift and tab or shift f6 the focus is better and you can actually see see that see as i press shift and tab notice the focus see see that you can see the focus is now on start when i press again it's back to widgets like that you see is here now is on microsoft edge so this update has made that much better there's also improvement for xbox when you subscribe i have not subscribed so i'll leave that for you if you have subscribed may you share what the improvements are please one more highlight from this update is the the keyboard you can though this will apply if you are in malaysia singapore or you have need to use the tamil india keyboard so we go to settings this is under i think time and language so we click time and language and we click language and region and we click these three dots we click language options and we click add keyboard so if you need to add the tamil keyboard this update has made that possible does it so far let me know of any new changes you have noticed and share that in the comment please have you updated did you like the changes i'd like to hear from you too please and i will appreciate if you subscribe share the video and offer suggestions for better topics and better video recording i appreciate your trust and your time see you in another such highlight video